In this video, I'll show you how to build the robot kit into a robot with a small Phillips screwdriver, scissors, and the robot kit. You can also use a drill with a 5mm diameter drill bit, although I don't have access to one at this time. In addition to the kit, I have a Raspberry Pi Zero, a microSD card, an external battery, and four AA batteries. These are all linked in the description. First, I'll show what's in the kit. Then I'll show you the assembly stages. With the lid open, we can see the two wheels, the two motors that move the wheels, a short range distance sensor, an anti static bag containing the motor control board, a set of wires for connecting sensors to the Raspberry Pi, a caster which will attach nearer the front of the robot. It moves in all directions. A breadboard which is used for connecting different components together. The battery box which will contain four AA batteries. Resistors used with the sensors on the breadboard. A tracker sensor. and two strips of double-sided tape. We also have a fairly sturdy box, which I'll be using as the robot chassis. The first step of assembly is to stick the motors down. Turn the bottom of the box upside down. The motor will be attached in the very corner, flush with the edges. Use double-sided tape to stick it down. Warning! Remember to cut the double-sided tape before using it. Only use as much as you need. I forgot to in this build, and it meant I had to use folded sellotape as double-sided tape. Peel the top layer of tape off and stick each motor down, the wires facing into the center of the box. Choose a position for the caster on the box. It should be horizontally centered and between the motors and the far edge. Stick it down with the double sided tape, or in my case, sellotape. Now punch holes through the bottom to feed the wires through. I'm using my screwdriver with a lot of pressure as it's all I have access to, but I'd recommend using the drill for this step. I'd also recommend choosing the hole position so that it's not directly underneath the battery box, shown in this snapshot. Once the holes have been punched, feed the wires through. Then attach the wheels to the motors. Turn the robot over. Stick the battery box down with double sided tape. Place it over the motors as the weight will help the robot to gain traction more easily. Position it in the middle. This gives enough space to remove the cover so that you can insert batteries. I also use the cover to stick down the Raspberry Pi and control board, so it's easy to remove from the box. Stick the Raspberry Pi to the cover with double-sided tape. Make sure the SD card slot is facing towards the outside of the cover. Once it's slotted in, it should look like this. The next step is to wire the motors and batteries in. Take the wires from the battery box and line them up with the center screw terminal on the controller board. Red wire to the plus sign and black to the minus. Then use a screwdriver to secure the wires in place. Do the same with the motor wires. Which side the red and black wires go doesn't matter. We need to test the motors before figuring out the right way round. Double check you have the battery wires in the right way. I have it the wrong way here, but I checked before turning on the robot and corrected it. Now place the control board onto the pins of the Raspberry Pi, with the board over the top of the Pi, and all the way to the edge, as I show here. Now you can place the SD card into the Raspberry Pi slot. 
the switch to turn the motor batteries on is underneath, which is a little tricky to get to. Now plug the external battery into the Raspberry Pi. The Pi should turn on, and the motor control board should show green and red lights. Place the battery into the case. My battery is too large to fit the box, so I have to lean it at an angle. To make this a little better, I cut a small rectangle out of the lid so it closes more onto the robot. I also stick the lid down where it meets the box so it can just flip open for me to get inside. With this, the robot is complete. You can take the SD card back out. Remember, it's easiest to slide the battery box lid off to get access to the Raspberry Pi. In the next video, I'll show you how to set the Raspberry Pi up, starting with flashing the SD card.